Hi, I'm Lisa Marie Goodson, and welcome to my channel. Okay, y'all, if you're watching me on the Blackberry Beauty, my Blackberry Beauty page, YouTube channel, you know for tip number four, you're going to have to go to my Afrocentric Home Decor channel. And for those that are already on the Afrocentric Home Decor channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah, okay, so y'all, today we're going to talk about four ways to Afrocentric your laundry room, okay? Four ways to Afrocentric your laundry room. I know, I know, most of us do not even wanna think about the laundry, and even if we had a room, I don't even have a room, by the way, I have a laundry area, and actually, it is actually a room. So, the tips I'm gonna give you, it doesn't matter if the room is small, it doesn't matter if the room is large, and for those that say, I don't even have a laundry room, but you do have laundry, and you might have a washer and dryer, and so these tips can still apply to you. Remember too, y'all, we're, we're creating the life that we want. See, my thing is Afrocentric home decor is not decorating for the life that you have, but decorating for the life that you want. So these tips will be very good for you, I hope. So now, listen, I said four ways to Afrocentric your laundry room. So let's talk about way number one. Way number one is the obvious, but it's so important. And way number one, I say clean and clear the areas so that the, so you start off with a clean palette. Okay, so clean and clear the area so you start off with a clean palette. I know it seems obvious, but a lot of times if you have a space where your washer and dry is or a room where your washer and dry is and you don't love going in that room, then you're not going to love doing the laundry. In order to do the laundry, you're going to actually have to like the space, want to be in there, even if it's just to throw the clothes in the washer and the dryer, you're going to have to like being in there. So one way is sometimes your laundry room the way it is, you don't it don't make you feel good you don't want to go up in there so one way to make you feel good just from having nothing in it is cleaning the space taking everything out of the space that you don't love or don't don't love matter of fact take everything out because you got to clean it <laughs> and for those that don't know um i make my own you know natural cleaning products and my own soap powder or laundry detergent and um this this video is actually being sponsored by a video bundle um, I have a company called the Blackberry Beauty Academy, and on my website, I actually uh, did a videos on how to make the natural soap powder or liquid deter laundry detergent, how to make all of my four, or is it five cleaning products, how to make, um, how to make uh, what they call toilet bowl bombs, how to make a sea salt scrub, and I think I threw in maybe how to make some type of other recipe. But if you are interested, the bundle is only $27, and it teaches you how what I use to do what I do. So I hope that you're able to do that, but let's go on. So the first one is, yes, you want that clean palette. Because a lot of times you can decorate, you do have ideas, you are talented, but you can't see the room if there's a whole bunch of stuff in it. Taking the stuff out and cleaning the space, it ups the vibration and makes you now, your mind starts to be more creative and starts to work with what you have. The other thing is, this is part of the tip, I didn't say, but you know, shop your home. I know home decor women always, sisters always say it, but it's true. Everything, when you do see my laundry room, everything that's in there, I shop my home. I bought nothing new. Maybe one or two items, actually I did, and I'll show you those, but you might actually have those items already in your home. So clean the palette, and when we talk about putting things in, we're gonna talk about shopping the home. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is if you want to choose a color scheme. So if you want to choose a color scheme. For me, my color scheme is blue and white. I didn't mean for it to be that way, but I had inspiration. I have these two beautiful pictures of a black man and a black woman, and I love them. And the, and the frame is in blue and, the, and so the white background. And that was my inspiration that I wanted the laundry room to be blue and white, but I have a touch of color of pink in there, and you will see exactly what that is. So if you want, maybe you have a picture or a statue or a mask, something that inspires the whole color scheme, you want to feel, you want to run with it, go with it, feel it, 
And I think that that's going to actually, you know what's so wonderful about having a color scheme to me is that you're not going to overspend. You're not going to go to the home decor, the Ross, the Marshalls, the home goods. You're not going to go to those places and buy up everything you like because it doesn't fit your, your, either your theme or your color scheme or it doesn't fit your decor so in a lot of ways creating or having a color scheme in mind keeps you more you know focused and spending less money to make your space beautiful my next tip right tip number three is choose items that you love to look at okay you, got, you gotta hear this again <laughs> you want to choose items that you love to look at. If you shop your home and you got some stuff in your other rooms in your house that you absolutely do not like, do not put them in your laundry room. You th you've probably been doing that already. Don't do that. You want to only put things in there that make you feel amazing. You got to think about it. Most of us don't want to do the laundry. Most of us don't like to do the laundry. And so it's a chore. But believe it or not, y'all, for me, I don't mind doing the laundry because when I open up that door to my washer and dryer and I see those beautiful colors and my African candle holders and my, oh my God, my pink, you know, Dollar Tree silk flowers, I just, it's, it, it just takes my breath away. So it makes it easier for me to be there. So again, let's go over the three tips and remember for everyone else, I'll have the fourth tip in a minute, but let me just go over it again. So I said four ways to Afrocentric <laughs> trick is the word your laundry room or area. Way number one was start off with a clean palette. Take everything out of the laundry space, everything. Wipe it down. Again, I have natural cleaning products. And again, I teach you how to make it. If you want to go to my website and buy the $27 video bundle with all kinds of recipes, demonstrations. Um, you want to clean, clear. It has to smell good, be amazing. You start there. Tip number two. Remember, tip number two is if you want, choose a color scheme. We talked about why. A color scheme keeps you focused. A color scheme keeps you from buying every single thing you like when you go up into a home decor store. So it's, it's something that too that maybe it speaks to you. Maybe that color makes you feel tranquil or maybe it makes you feel excited. Maybe it gives you energy. You really want to think about those things when you're in a certain room. What do you want to promote? Remember my last video I talked about you got to look at every room as, and ask the question. I'm going to be doing this in every room that I go in, in the house with you. What feeling would you like to promote in that room? And the last tip, well, at least tip number three, let me say that, is choose items that you love. No, 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 no. You cannot put in stuff in there because maybe it matches the color scheme, but you don't love it. Or maybe you love it, but it doesn't match the color scheme. So it has to feel good. Everything has to be, when, I, when people say cohesive, that's still relative. It has to be cohesive to you. If it hurts your eyes, if it put a hurting on your eyes, and you like, oh no, I don't. This is not uplifting me. Find out ways to uplift yourself, and you will love your space. For tip number four, here it is. Hey y'all, welcome to the laundry room. As promised, tip number four. I told you that I would bring you into my laundry room and don't worry, you'll get to see all of it. But I wanna make sure I tell you what tip number four is. And tip number four is, I called it um, best ways for getting the laundry done. I mean, that's something that people need to know. Like you wanna know like, Sister Lisa Marie, I don't like to do the laundry. Lisa Marie, I don't want to do it. Can you give me some tips on how to get the laundry done as well as show me what you've done in your laundry room? And I'm going to do that today. Number one, wash every day or every other day. So for me, I actually wash every day at least. I take a look in the hamper and I, and I, I look to see if there's dirty clothes in there and I'm washing. The good thing about doing the laundry is, let's face it, you're not kind of really doing it, at least when you're washing it. You can multitask, go around the house, do other things, or maybe you can fix up your laundry room while you're doing the laundry. So every day or every other day. 
In other words, don't let them pile up. The reason why you don't like to do the laundry is because at one time it's overwhelming. It's actually too many clothes. I used to do that. I was terrible at waiting a week or two to do my laundry. And, I, and because it was so much and so many clothes and so much folding, I couldn't stand doing it. Now that I do it every day or every other day, it is a pleasure because the folding is very little because you're not doing, you know, a hundred you know, thousand clothes in one time. So very important, wash every day or every other day. Um, part, and this is tip number four, but part two is fold the clothes right out of the dryer. Now that may sound obvious to people, but I, when I say right out of the dryer, I don't even put them in the laundry basket. I literally, as I pull the cold or auto article of clothing out, I literally start folding it. And so by the time I get to the last article in my dryer, all the clothes are already folded. Y'all, y'all gonna love this tip because if you pull out all that laundry and you put it in the laundry bag or the laundry basket, you are gonna leave it on top of that dryer or that washer until you do the wash again do it as soon as it comes out of the dryer. Okay, another tip that I think that you're all gonna love and tip that I use is put either laundry basket in all bedrooms and encourage even your small kids to get their dirty laundry clothes in or put their dirty laundry clothes in. This is another thing I've seen and I know it works well. You want to put laundry bins or laundry hampers inside the, the room, bedrooms, maybe the children's bedroom, and of course your bedroom or your, your spouse's bedroom. So it encourages everyone to not wait and keep a pile somewhere where you don't know where the clothes are. They can take off the dirty clothes, put it in a hamper that's in their room, and when you go to do the laundry daily, you can check the hamper and you will notice and you will be able to get all the dirty clothes where you're not somebody's coming up with a whole pile of clothes when you wasn't ready for it okay so make sure that you place laundry hampers in all rooms that people live in <laughs> like your bedrooms and where they might accumulate dirty clothes and I got another tip for you so Remember too though, I want to make sure I'm telling you, I want to make sure that you know that I have a, what I call my demonstration video bundle where I show you my, oh my God, like everything, uh, how to make my multi-purpose cleaner, how to make my laundry detergent, how to make my glass cleaner, how to make my disinfectant spray. All, and all a host of other things, sea salt scrubs and everything, $27, you can go to my website, it's in the description box, let me give you the I would say the final tip, but not yet. Next tip, check the laundry basket daily for any unforgotten laundry. This has happened to me, ladies, where I have, you know, forgot that there's clothes in the laundry. So sometimes when I'm walking out the door, because our laundry basket is actually near the front door, sometimes I'll just flip the basket up and look inside. Like right now, there's clothes in there. So I'm going to do the laundry. I did it low, but I'm going to do another one. I, you know, I separate my colors from the whites. But um, so you want to make sure that you check the laundry room and the laundry basket daily. Very important so you won't forget stuff and then you'll think like you did all the laundry and then you realize you didn't. Not a good feel. Now let me give you a bonus because I wrote in the description four ways to Afrocentric your laundry room plus bonus. This is the bonus, ladies. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get comfortable. I'm going to take off my jacket. And we're going to start looking at the things in the room. So let's see if we can get a picture of everything in its entirety so you can actually see it. I'm going to take off my jacket because I'm getting hot. I've got a lot of lights working up in here. So, so ladies, this is the last tip. And if uh, my cameraman can actually see, see it. The last tip, this sounds maybe strange to those, but no, 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 it's not. Burn essential oils that make you feel good in your laundry room. Right now I have this Dollar Tree uh, oil diffuser and I actually put peppermint essential oil. Peppermint enlivens me. Peppermint makes, wants me to, makes me want to do stuff and get busy. And so peppermint essential oil, burn essential oils in your laundry room. Okay, y'all, now we're going to go through the entire room. Um, my cameraman is going to actually uh, show you what I'm working with. So as you see, and uh, everything's good. 
Now, as you see, <laughs> I'm checking my camera. Um, this is my scheme. So remember in the beginning of the, um, the video, I talked about having pictures or inspiration so that you can create a color scheme. For me, I had these two pictures. I knew that these two pictures, as soon as I came into this laundry room. Now keep in mind, my husband and I, we moved from California to North Carolina. That's where we are, I'm in North Carolina now. I've been here for only four months. And when I came in and saw the, the it was clean and cleansed, I said, I gotta have those two pictures that I bought in California. So I bought these, this one here is a picture of a woman. She kind of reminds me of, she could be a Caribbean woman, an African woman, a black American Southern woman. And I just love her with the pipe in her mouth. I mean, that is just beautiful. And you'll notice that blue and white. And then her counterpart is this beautiful brother, you know, same thing, he could be from any uh, of the African diaspora. And I love him, and so I looked at those two and I started thinking, wait a second, you know what, I like this little blue and white thing. So what I did was, and I, I, guess, I guess I'll start here, I, I, my husband had this blue bowl, and it went so wonderfully well, and so with this bowl, and I'll just bring it down a tad bit, this is where I keep my multi-purpose cleaner that I make myself. My husband, I don't use bleach, but my husband does, so we keep the bleach in there. And then this is a natural, all natural stain remover e cover. And then we keep some towels to wipe down, maybe our hands or the, the washing machine or dryer. So another thing that I do is I'm always thinking of Afrocentric home decor. Now I have these wonderful candle holders, and this one is the beautiful sister and this beautiful candle holder. And I said, you know what? I don't really use it as a candle holder anymore because I used it all wrong and messed it up. <laughs> but I love that I, I can use it actually just for what it is. It's art and it's beautiful. Instead of sitting in a box, remember I said shop your home. Instead of sitting in a box, it's sitting up there bringing life and beauty to the entire space. So I really love that. Next thing I did, I'm going with that blue and white thing. So this here is my laundry detergent. I actually make my own laundry detergent. Again, if you're interested, you can go to my website, $27 for a video bundle, and I teach you how to do that as well. And so this has peppermint essential oil in it. This is a wonderful laundry detergent. I absolutely love it. I went to the Dollar Tree, got the bin, $1 blue and white thing. Of course, the blue and white thing going on, I went to the Dollar Tree again. And that's my laundry basket that when I do, after I finish folding the clothes out of the dryer, <laughs> after I finish folding the clothes out of the dryer, I put the clothes in here. And if it's my husband's clothes, I either give him the whole basket, he can put the clothes away in his drawer, or I bring it into the bedroom in the basket. My husband knows to put it away, and he brings the empty basket back. It works wonderfully. Love it. One dollar, dollar treat. This here, again, is my homemade soap pot or liquid detergent, no, I'm sorry, detergent that I have. And I got this glass from Walmart. I probably paid seven or eight dollars. I love the glass, it's wonderful. Again, y'all, I got the, the brother over here with the shield, the counterpart to her. I'm all about bringing in that union, that togetherness, those, that couple vibe. So I got the woman and the man here, and I got the man and the woman there. So I'm always thinking about that kind of uh, harmony between the male and the female, or the masculine and the feminine. Okay, so here y'all is, I took an ordinary Tupperware with the blue glass Pyrex, I guess Tupperware, uh, with the blue lid, and this is my natural fabric softeners that I actually get from Whole Foods, so I like that, and actually, yeah, I love that. Now this here, I'm really digging. So I buy my laundry detergent um, from either Costco, I usually buy Whole Foods, I'm going to start buying from Costco, they have organic, green, natural uh, laundry detergent, I actually take it out of the original container, and I bought this wonderful, um, what do what you call this, like a canister, there is a name for this thing, and I can't remember what it is, but it's a water dispenser, or a dispenser, that's what it is. And so what I do is, I take the laundry detergent out, and I put it in there, it has the you know, the uh, spout, and that's my cup there to fill it up, and this is how we do our laundry. And just for a little different, kind of break up the blue and white, just a tad, I had these Dollar Tree silk flowers and this pink vase. Pink represents love, and so I put the Dollar Tree flowers there, and I love it. I love it. 
Okay, so let's go down a little bit and let's talk a little bit about these two pictures that are on the back wall. So my husband and I were both into um, what you call uh, black memorabilia. I call it art. And so we, we collect this. And this one I love. It says Jim Ed's Blackberry Punch, five cents ice cold. This makes me think of summertime. It made me think I want clean clothes, I want to wear my white, <laughs> and I want to, you know, have some Blackberry Punch. Maybe not white with the Blackberry Punch, but I love it, right? Isn't that cool? Don't you love that? I love that. And so um, I got this at an Ashby Flea Market in Berkeley, California, and I don't know, I don't think I paid more than $10 for that. Also, we have this Auntie May soap and this cute little girl in the little bathtub. I thought that that thought about washing, cleaning, like I just love that. So I put those two here again, the, the masculine and the feminine. I like to play with that. Now, the last thing that I added here were these two pictures. So um, let me see if I get out the way. So I actually had the opportunity to purchase this artwork, which is slanted. Um, this artwork from a brother, I think his name is Renaissance. I'm looking for his name, but he uh, was actually um, in Lakeshore, on Lakeshore in Oakland, California. And I bought this print. It was already framed, which is wonderful. And it's a sister, reminds myself as a little girl. Um, and she's in, you know, I guess a tenement, you know, like a, a New York City scene. Actually, he's, he was from Brooklyn. I remember that. So what I love about this piece is it has the blues, it has the whites, but it also brings in the reds, the oranges, the yellows. So it's, I really got it for not just the beauty of it, but for color. And then she had, there's a sister part piece that I call it. And this is so Afrocentric decor. I think this is the epitome of my kind of Afrocentric decor. We got the African sister juxtaposed to a uh, juxtaposition to the, the, the city life or the, the buildings and the cars. And it just feels so much like home. We got the white frame. We're bringing in the blue. We're also bringing in the rest of the colors. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to come back to you. So let me see if I could. I'm going to come back to you. And I just want to say, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for watching the video. I know it was long. Um, I have a lot of uh, other videos coming to you. The next one we're going to talk about, since we talk about my, my uh, cleaning products all the time, I'm going to show you how I shine my bathroom to perfection. So tune into that. Again, remember that this is being sponsored by uh, my, it's called uh, Blackberry Beauty Secrets How to Glow from Head to Toe Video Bundle. It is $27, and it's a, a series of videos that of me in my kitchen demonstrating how to make the soap powder, how to make the cleaners, how to make a sea salt scrub. I might even do in how to make a vegan cornbread. I think that's on it. So you'll be actually able to see that as well. And I put in a bonus video, $27 if you're interested. Okay, ladies, I thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.